Turning now to a scary situation on the road today in South Jersey, a school bus driver stands accused of being behind the wheel while intoxicated with a bus full of elementary school students. It happened in Clayton, Gloucester County. Action News reporter Charles Watson is live in Clayton with the details. Charles. Yeah, Chris, and we spoke to the bus driver's boyfriend off camera who tells us that he called police and told them that his girlfriend was a bus driver and that she was possibly intoxicated. He says he was just trying to get her help for drinking, but that call, according to a criminal complaint, prompted police to track that bus down along with the bus driver who had nearly two dozen kids on board. A call that started out as a well-being check ended with the arrest of Clayton Public Schools bus driver Suzanne Stoms, seen here in this Facebook photo identified to us by her boyfriend. According to a criminal complaint, the 48-year-old's boyfriend, out of concern, alerted Franklinville Township Police this morning that Stom was possibly under the influence of alcohol while driving a school bus. And I seen like three or four cops. There was actually a... I don't know if it was an undercover cop or it was security maybe. That activity ended up right in front of Fran Sperry's home at the intersection of Franklin Street and Poe Avenue in Clayton, where Clayton police tracked Stom's bus. And then I noticed there was actually a woman sitting behind the, the driver wheel. I didn't at that time know that there was kids on the bus. Once located, officers at Stom's perform a field sobriety test and later a chemical breath test, which she allegedly failed. As a result, police say she was arrested and charged with driving under the influence, reckless driving, and endangering the welfare of a child. The Clayton Public School District superintendent sent a letter to parents saying the 23 kids on board were safely transported to school by another bus driver. The letter goes on to say, quote, it goes without saying that this is behavior that will not be tolerated and we will be terminating the employee effective immediately. Due to the fact that this is an ongoing investigation, I am unable to share any additional information. Yeah, now we know Stom was released from police custody. She is expected back in court on March 21st. And Clayton, Charles Watson, Channel 6 Action News. Christy? Yeah, certainly a scary situation for those kids. Charles, thank you.